Now friends, uh, here we have a classic problem from CAT 2003. Here in this case, uh, we have a rectangle that measures 10 cm by 20 cm. And uh, we have to find out the circumference of this, uh, I'm sorry, radius of the circle. Right? Now we can very well observe that the line that is joining this vertex to the center of the circle, it's not passing through the uh, other vertex of the rectangle. So it's pretty difficult to find out the radius of the circle. So what we can assume, uh, we can assume this and this to be coordinate axis where origin is this, right? Now this is OX axis and this is OY axis, right? Now if this length is 20, that means this length is also 20 because it is a rectangle. So X coordinate of this point will be 20, okay? If this length is 10, then this length will be 10. So y coordinate of this will be 10, right? Now, suppose this is point maybe P and this is Q. So distance between PQ will be what? R, right? And this is S. So O, P, Q, S, this is a square. So PQ is R. Similarly, SQ will be radius of the circle. That will also be R, okay? So coordinate of this point will be R and R. Now what? We can apply the distance formula. We know the coordinates of A. We know the coordinates of Q. So AQ is actually what? It's also radius. So if we apply distance formula between these two points, that is 20 minus R whole square plus 10 minus R whole square, that will be equal to radius square, right? Now you can put the values of R from the options. So if you put 10, it will be satisfied because 10 square, uh, this uh, 10 square is equal to 10 square and even if you put 50 then also it will be satisfied. So but our answer will be one of them either 10 or 50. Now which one to be uh, ex, uh, like uh, discarded either 10 or 50. Now you can see that from the whole line 20 is just this length. So the radius cannot be less than 20. So it has to be 50. Okay. I hope you are clear.